Hidden behind a 1960s facade for decades, the Schofield Building and its ornate red brick now makes the same statement at East 9th and Euclid that it did when it opened in 1901. If you talk to anybody in downtown Cleveland that works down here and they saw the scaffolding up for a long time, a lot of those folks didn't even know that this facade existed underneath the glass and uh, metal that was there before. Now after a five-year transformation outside and inside, it's set to open March 8th as a Kempton Hotel and more. We have 52 apartments that are above the hotel. The hotel goes up seven stories. Eight through 14 are apartments. They range from a junior one-bedroom exec all the way through a three-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath. Uh, as of today, three-fourths of those are leased out. The 122 rooms are like the building itself, different in size and amenities, most offering walk-in showers that house not just a shower, but old-fashioned claw tubs. The building was designed by Levi Schofield, the architect and sculptor behind the Soldiers and Sailors Monument, which you can see from some of the hotel's corner rooms and find high above 9th Street, below the cornice work carved into the building. The boutique hotel features not a lobby, but a living room, and adds to the city's inventory of different types of hotels. And just by looking at that, the meeting planner or the convention planner gets another perception of Cleveland that they do have diverse offerings. So that's what's, what's exciting for us to kind of add to those ingredients of what Cleveland has to offer. Well, the hotel's restaurant will be Parker's Downtown. It will offer room service not only to the hotel, but to the apartments in the building as well. Live in the newsroom, John Kosick, News Channel 5.